Greetings music makers, I'm Dr. Kiari, and in this video we're going to work on how to switch chords on the ukulele. We'll focus on playing three chords, C major, F major, and G major. You can then use those chords to play songs like In the Jungle. So grab your ukulele, warm up your fingers, and let's get ready to learn. In our last video we learned C major, F2 sus, and A minor. You can use those chords to play songs like I Got a Feelin' by the Black Eyed Peas. If you want to learn from that video, the links are in the description box below. But there's a trick about the F2 sus and the A minor chord. If you use the fingers for those two chords at the same time, you get an F major. Sometimes when you have a chord chart, you see numbers on the circles that represent the fingers. Those stand for which fingers you should use on your left hand. Remember, when we count, we use one, two, three, and four. So for this exercise, I suggest that you use your three finger for C and your one and two fingers for F. So let's take our index finger, put it in the second string first fret, and our middle finger on the fourth string second fret. It looks like this, and it sounds like this. Will you play it with me? Let's play a few whole notes. So we'll play C, we'll count to four, three, Four, switch to F. Two, move back to C. Join me when you can. Two, three, now F and. Two, three, move to C. Two, three, back to F. Two, back to C and one, two, and last time to F and we'll end on C. Two, three, four, stop our strings. Here's another trick you can try. Let's play four quarter note C's. It'll sound like this. Then what we're gonna do is pat our ukulele for four beats as we switch to F, and then we'll play four quarter notes on F. And pat, moving back to a C. Join with me. And pat, move to an F, go. This gives you time to move your left hand. And back to F, ready, go. Back to C, ready, go. This will be our last time, pat to the F, ready, and F. Back to C, we'll end on C. If you use a scroller on the bottom of the screen, you can practice that over and over until it becomes comfortable. The next step is to do the same thing, but play two quarter notes and tap twice. Let's try it. One, two, start on C. C, tap to an F. Tap to a C. Tap to an F. Back to C. Back to F and we'll end on C. Again, you can practice that a bunch of times by using the scroller at the bottom. Are you ready for the next challenge? Let's play it once and tap, then once, then tap. One, two, ready, go. C, tap, F, tap. C, tap, F. Two more. Last time, end on a C. Now we're going to learn our new chord, G major. Your ring finger will go in the second string, third fret. Your middle finger goes on the first string, second fret, and your index finger goes on the second string, second fret. What I like to do is use my ring finger for an anchor, and the other two fingers go in the second fret of the first and third string. The G major chord sounds like this. Will you play it with me? Now let's try some whole notes on C and G. Start with C. One, two, ready, go. C, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. Back to G. Two, back to C. Two, now to G and 
one more time C, two, three, back to G, and we'll end on a C. Now let's try four quarter notes and four taps. Start with the C. One, two, ready, go. C. Now tap. Get your fingers ready for a G. Here's the easy one going back to C. Now move the ring finger and put the other two behind it. Back to C. Two, ready, and. Now move to the G. And we'll end on a C. You want to use the same process that we use for the C and the F. Once you have four, go to two. It'll sound like this. One, two, tap, tap to G. Once you get that, play it only once. If you'd like some practice using the acapella app, I have two videos in the description box below for C and F and C and G. Now we're going to do a more complicated chord progression. We're going to go C, F, C, G. We're going to use the same process. We'll play C four times, tap four times, F, tap, C. Let's try it together. Start with C. One, two, ready, go. Now tap. Move to F. Now tap, go back to C. Now we're moving to G. Back to C. Ready, go. And it might take you this long to move your fingers. But at least you have four counts to move your fingers in. Move to the G. Back to C. End it here. Now we're going to try playing it two times with two taps. Let's get our C ready. One, two, ready, go. Tap to F. Back to C. Now a G. Back to C. Now an F. Now a C. Back to G. We'll do it one more time. C. Now an F. Now a C. And then a G. We'll end on C. The last step is trying to play four quarter notes without any taps. So you'd play four C's, then you'd move to an F, back to C, and then to G. Back to C and start over. So I suggest pausing the video and practicing that until it becomes comfortable. When you come back, my clones and I have a surprise. I hope you had a good practice session. Get ready to play with the clones. Were you able to keep up? If so, fist bump that like button so that I know how many people were able to learn with us. 
If you're ready to replace one of my clones with a video of you, find the links in the description box below. Don't forget you can either use the version with lyrics by putting L-Y at the end or no lyrics by putting N-L at the end. Then don't forget to come back and comment below with a link to the video you created. If you're ready to move on to more ukulele chords, click on the Learn playlist over here. If you want more Music Under a Minute projects, click on the Create playlist down there. And of course, if you want to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of the resources I create, click on my face. And until next time, keep on making music.